Have you ever wondered when we'll witness the next groundbreaking SpaceX Starship launch? Just a week ago, we saw a daring attempt that, unfortunately, ended in a series of engine failures and malfunctions. In the 20th of April Starship launch, things didn't go exactly as planned. Shortly after liftoff, three of the 33 Raptor engines in the Super Heavy booster experienced issues, causing the rocket to lean as it cleared the pad. As the flight continued, more engine failures, heat shield damage, and communication losses occurred, ultimately leading to the rocket losing control. Despite these setbacks, Musk remained optimistic during a subscriber-only chat on Twitter, stating that the overall outcome exceeded his expectations. The vehicle managed to clear the pad, and SpaceX gathered valuable data during the flight. So what does this mean for the future of Starship launches? According to Musk, we can expect another launch attempt in just about two months, with a greater chance of reaching space this time. He believes that re-qualifying the flight termination system will be the long lead item for the next launch, and that the next vehicle and repaired pad should be ready in six to eight weeks. SpaceX has learned a lot from the previous launch, and they're making changes to improve the launch pad's durability. For instance, they're placing a water-jacketed steel sandwich below the launch mount, which will help mitigate dust and debris by creating a massive, super-strong steel showerhead pointing upwards. This water deluge system is expected to prevent a repeat of the debris scattering that occurred last time. The next launch will use a super-heavy booster called Booster 9, featuring newer and more reliable engines with improved shielding. Musk expressed confidence in the booster's robustness and expects a more stable engine performance. As for the Starship upper stages, the company hasn't yet decided which one will fly. Musk remains optimistic that the second launch will reach at least the stage separation phase, and he's hopeful for a successful staging and orbit. He stated that there's a better than 50% chance of reaching orbit on the next launch, which will follow a nearly orbital trajectory, splashing down off the coast of Hawaii 90 minutes after liftoff, just short of one complete orbit. SpaceX plans to attempt four to five Starship launches this year, and Musk is confident they will achieve orbit, estimating an 80% plus probability of doing so by the end of the year. This likelihood increases to nearly 100% within the next 12 months. So what can we expect during the upcoming Starship launch? There are bound to be challenges and uncertainties, but SpaceX's resilience and adaptability have proven time and again that they can overcome obstacles. As Musk said, once again, excitement is guaranteed, success is not. The engine failures during liftoff were attributed to the Raptor engines either not starting or aborting during startup. While these engines didn't explode, the system deemed them unhealthy for full thrust. This contributed to the rocket's distinctive lean as it cleared the pad. Further issues arose throughout the flight, such as Raptor Engine 19 losing communication and heat shield damage around Raptor Engine 30. At T plus 85 seconds, another engine lost communication, and from that point onwards, the rocket lost thrust vector control, rendering it unable to steer. Musk noted that the cause of engine failures didn't seem to be linked to the rock tornado of debris created by the engine thrust at liftoff. While the exact reasons for these malfunctions are still being investigated, SpaceX is committed to learning from these setbacks and ensuring that future launches are better prepared for success. With the next Starship launch just around the corner, what can we expect from this ambitious space exploration company? The previous launch attempt, despite its issues, still provided valuable data for the SpaceX team. They were able to gather information throughout the flight, including during maximum dynamic pressure or MAX-Q, which is a critical phase of the launch. This information will be crucial in making improvements to the design and performance of the Starship vehicle. This may involve updates to the engine design, manufacturing processes, or even changes in the way the engines are tested and qualified before being integrated into the vehicle. Another aspect that will be carefully examined is the heat shield system. The previous launch saw heat shield damage around several Raptor engines, which led to visible fires coming from the aft end of the rocket. Ensuring that the heat shield system is robust and capable of withstanding the harsh conditions of launch will be critical for the success of future Starship flights. In addition to addressing the issues experienced during the previous launch, SpaceX will also be making improvements to the launch pad and infrastructure. This would help mitigate dust and debris during liftoff, reducing the chances of a repeat rock tornado event.
The launch pad itself sustained some damage during the last launch attempt, but Musk downplayed the extent of it. He stated that concrete debris was scattered over nearly 400 acres around the pad, and a plume deposited sand-like material more than 10 kilometers away. However, he noted that the debris was essentially sand and rocks, and despite not wanting to repeat such an event, the pad should be ready for the next launch attempt. Musk has announced that the next Starship launch attempt could happen in one to two months. This optimistic time frame, despite the extent of the damage from the debut launch, reflects the company's commitment to learning from the experience and quickly addressing the challenges faced. Musk envisions the Starship as a crucial component in building a city on Mars, with its reusable design and environmentally friendly cost-effective fuel source of liquid methane and oxygen, setting it apart from its predecessors. It's this spirit of perseverance and determination that has allowed SpaceX to push the boundaries of what's possible and contribute to the advancement of human spaceflight. On launch day, the people in Port Isabel, Texas, just six miles from SpaceX's starbase, felt the ground shake like an earthquake. Starship's engines were so loud and powerful that windows broke. The rocket's blast had a big impact on the environment, affecting both SpaceX and the local community. The takeoff threw dust, dirt, and debris into the air, which then fell on Port Isabel and nearby areas. The launch even created a 25-foot deep crater. Will the next launch mark a significant milestone for SpaceX and the future of space exploration? Only time will tell. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for future updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.